Now we're going to look at how to customise Windows 7, such as changing the background picture or maybe setting up a screensaver, for example. So to do this, we right-click on the desktop, then we come down and select Personalise. This opens up the Personalisation dialog box and this is going to allow us to change the visuals and sounds on your computer. In the centre of this dialog box, we have a number of different themes. At the top we have a custom theme that we've set up for video training, but if I scroll down a little bit, we can see all of the standard themes that come with Windows 7. So the standard default Windows 7 theme, but also a nature theme, an architecture theme. Windows 7 has also looked at the region settings of this computer and has determined that we're in Australia, so it has offered us an Australia theme. You'll also notice that there is a coloured box in front of each of these themes, and this is the window colour, and that relates to this option here, and we'll talk more about that in a second. If I would like to switch to a different theme, all I have to do is click on it, and now we can see the background picture has updated to display one of the pictures from that particular theme. If I scroll down a little bit further, we have some basic and high contrast themes as well. So if I would like to now customise this theme, we have some options down along the bottom of the dialog box that allow me to do this. Starting with the desktop background, if I click on this link, this now shows me all of the pictures that are associated with the Australia theme. You'll also notice that they all have a tick in the top left hand corner indicating that these pictures will be used for the desktop background for example. If I don't want to use any of these pictures all I have to do is click to remove that tick and now this picture won't be included as part of the theme. I'm happy to leave it included though. We can also control the picture position. So by default we're going to use the picture to fill up the entire screen but I can stretch it, or tile it, or centre it, a number of different options. We can also change the picture every so many seconds, or minutes, or hours. I think this is a great feature in Windows 7. I'm going to set this to 30 seconds. Would we also like to shuffle the pictures? I might turn this on. When we're using battery power, would we like to pause the slideshow to save power? So we can turn this option on if we want to as well. So a number of really useful options here. And here we have the pictures from all of the other themes as well. So we can go and have a look through those. I'm going to click on Save Changes. We can also change the window colour. And this is what I was talking about a few seconds ago. So if you would like to change the window colour for a particular theme, you can go through and select whichever window colour you would like. And this relates to your window borders, start menu and taskbar. Would you like to enable transparency or change the colour intensity by clicking and dragging this marker along the slider? We can also customise the colour mixer. So we can click and drag to customise these colours as much as we like on Save Changes. Would we also like to change the sound scheme? So if we click on Sounds, the Cityscape sound scheme is associated with the Australia theme, but maybe I'd like to use one of these other ones, or maybe just use the window, Windows default sound scheme. I'll click on Cancel. We can also set up a screensaver. So if I click on this link, Currently we don't have a screensaver active, but if I come down and select one of these options, maybe I'd like to display photos, so I'll click on photos. So now we wait for 30 minutes and then we display the photos. And we can see a preview of what this looks like here. I can also use this spinner control to adjust the number of minutes, or I can just select this text and type in however many minutes I like. On resume, so in other words, when we move the mouse after the screensaver kicks in, would we like to display the login screen again? So you can type in your password. We can leave this option on or off. We also have settings relating to the photo screensaver. So where would we like to get our pictures from? By default, it's the pictures library. Slideshow speed. And would we like to shuffle the pictures? So a few basic options here. I might leave this 
screensaver active. So now we have customized the Australia theme. We selected Australia, but then we changed the background and we also set up a screensaver. So now we have an unsaved theme in the My Themes area. So if you would like to save this theme, all you have to do is come over and click on Save Theme, give it a name, click on Save, and now we have a new saved theme. If you would like to switch back to another theme, all you have to do is click on that theme. I'll switch back to video training in this particular case. So you can see how easy it is to adjust themes and personalization options in Windows 7. So now you can go and set up your screensaver or adjust your background pictures however you like.